Look, we're waiting for YouTube. Oh, we're live on YouTube. All right. What is up, everyone? My name is Chris, and this is Zoe from Vogus Prospecting. It is great to have you here today on the live stream where we're going to be opening Grizzly Mail. Now, I've got a list in front of me of important things to get through right before we jump straight into it. So the first thing is I've got a brand new video coming out straight after this stream. So please make sure that you stick around for that. It's really cool. It's where I actually use the creek to sluice dirt. I don't even use a sluice box. It's Amazing. I was blown away with how much gold I recovered doing that. The second thing is um, that this is the second of multiple. Oh, Zoe's, um, Zoe's just getting the comments up for Facebook and it suddenly got a lot of volume. <laughs> this is the second of multiple Grizzly Mails. This is going to be a regular event. So don't stress if your package isn't here today yet. It might be coming in the mail very soon. We've got a lot of people from overseas who have been asking me whether or not I've received stuff we've just started getting overseas mail which is all this stuff over here and more down on a table that you can't see but we also know that we've got a lot of tracking a lot of tracking packages that are still stuck in customs both on australian shores and overseas so just hold tight there will be more of these streams now the next thing t-shirts look at this i got a big box of t-shirt on zoe's got a grizzly t-shirt on and we're actually giving away some of this merch uh, during this live stream, we've got a T-shirt for Facebook, a T-shirt for uh, YouTube, and a T-shirt for Mail. one person who sent something in. Uh, I've also left a link in the description to the merch shop, and in that shop, there's a discount code for you for 10% off of views. Thank you, 2020. Not that 2020 has been terribly kind to us, but you guys have been incredibly kind to us, so we thank you for that. Now, um, a massive, massive thank you to Graham and Karen. Uh, they have developed these merch lines for us. We've been working with them. They have put in extraordinary amounts of work to do it, and I cannot thank them enough yeah. for how much work that they've put in now the last the very very last thing i've already talked about that i don't need to go over so we'll ignore that completely and we'll just jump straight into it open some mail yeah open some mail because we've got a lot of packages to get through last time we had 32 packages and today we've got 49 <laughs> i think so yeah somewhere there yeah something like that yeah. now hello to everyone oh my god there is a lot of people there's a lot of people joining Big Boy Jim, is that Big Boy Jim Gaming, 99 cents. Thank you very much for that super chat. And hello to everyone. I'm not going to start reading names out because I will be here for hours. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to open up um, the first package, but we're going to we're going to open it up to you guys and to what you want to see. You want to see an international package first or you want to see an Australian package first? So you just start, in, you know, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we get. And then we're going to alternate from that point on. Yep. <laughs> Getting any comments? Oh, right, that'll it'll yeah. come through. Yeah. International. We're Aussie. Internationals first. Yeah. I will look at it. Oh. Zoe picks. <laughs> Zoe picks. <laughs> One each. I'm seeing a lot of Aussie comments on YouTube. What do we yeah. got? We've got um, a lot of international yeah. on Facebook. All right. So Zoe picks. What do you want? Well, I'd like to see what's in this really big one here. And that's an Aussie one. <laughs> this is the heaviest package we have received. It weighs an absolute freaking ton. Um, it, Don't worry, guys. I've got the scissors. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to know if someone sent safety scissors after the last live stream. <laughs> um, this is from Anna Marie. Anne Marie. Anne Marie Putt. Put. 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 Oh. Now I get to be on the receiving end of the scissors. Well, yeah, everyone's going to say get them off me today. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but um, I'm listening to this live stream with, like, music in my head. So if, if my voice or whatever gets annoying, just think of music. <laughs> it seems to work for me. <laughs> Safety scissors, Matty Hand. Yeah, bro. I think I might have got it. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, oh, my there word. is lots Zoe. and lots <gasps> chocolate. So last time I got a package, I opened a package that had chocolate in it, and um, I took it off Zoe, and I, I sort of gave it away in the live stream. I only yeah, left it once, so now I'm not allowed to touch chocolate. Chocolates. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anne Marie. What is oh, this? Yum. Looks like a puzzle. It's a magic cube. Yeah, I reckon it's a puzzle. It's a magic cube. 
right up your alley. We probably should read. I'll open this and see. <laughs> it's a collar. Aww. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you so much for that. That is super cool. So it's a custom collar, leather. That thing is a thing of absolute beauty. You want to yep. have a look at that one? You start pulling stuff out. All I'll, right. Okay. I'll speed read. Yeah, you're better at that than me. Oh, pencils. Yes. How awesome. I love pencils. Oh, are they? Yeah. Yeah, you guys don't know about my secret um, Instagram account where I do drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a secret oh Instagram goodness. account. Oh, you can find it. my God. Oh, my what? Oh, my God. This is so cool. <laughs> a box of coloring in book. That's right. I'm so, now, we are, now we know what the pencils oh, are Oh, there's for. all the boxes on the back. There's more in there, I think. Now we know why we have pencils. So much art supplies. Oh, so cool. And you have no idea how much this is right up Zoe's alley. Oh, what's in it? And I will be permanently borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that. oh, sexy. <laughs> that's Love unreal. That. that is so Thank cool. Thank you so much. Oh, and they've got cool names. Lavender, dandelion, boysenberry. Oh, that's <laughs> They're named cool. after fruits. <laughs> I'll quickly show you all the other colouring books. Now I know why it was so heavy. This is so cool. I love coloring in. 100 best coloring pages. <laughs> that is super yeah, cool. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. That is unreal. Oh, um, wow. We might put this back in the box. Yeah. I, I'll photograph all I've of these. Skim again. read your letter. Thank you very much if you are watching. Um, I think you left. Did you leave contact details on this? <laughs> that. No, but I'll try and find you and I There's will There's an address reply. on the back ah, on, the, on the box, I think. So this is why Zoe's here. She's very yeah. professional. On and I'll guys. photograph all of these so everyone can have a bit better look. Yeah, that's the other thing. Zoe last time photographed everything we got sent and we put it up on my Facebook page. So if you want to see in detail the things that we have been sent um, and, and who they were from and all that sort of stuff, they will be up there. Good work, muscles. So we're going to do an international one now because yeah. I want to do... Like a letter. Okay. Yeah. I think you can be trusted to open that. <laughs> uh, this is from Robert McGeary. Hey, you don't need the scissors. <laughs> <sighs> uh, that's funny. I probably shouldn't be trusted. With it. No, you shouldn't. Oh, Shane, I just saw this. I don't have Facebook. Could we get a video update on the Grizz Memorial? Yes. There's there's a lot going on behind the scenes, so you just sort of have to bear with me. <laughs> um, I am bringing you all of that stuff. It is just going to take a little bit of time to get it up and running and, and everything properly. These things have to be done right, and there's a lot of moving pieces. Ooh. I just want to say um, to Trina Marie, yeah, I loved your sparkly rock. It was one of my favorites. I am just going to skim read these letters, guys, but just because of how many packages we've got to get through. So um, I will do my utmost to get back to every single one of you uh, as long as there's a return address and, and whatnot on it. Also, he has sent, Robert has sent me a rock. Ooh. I'm just trying to find, I'm just trying to find in here where the rock is. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is probably really boring to watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to peel the rock off. It doesn't off, matter. We'll and look I'm going to show rock. you. Yes. Yeah. And again, this will be all going up. Ah, oh, okay. I like it. It's a this from? Idaho. Possibly Idaho. So yeah. this is. A rock from Idaho, a piece of quartz, a slither of quartz. Oh, oh that was loud. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Robert. We appreciate that. That will be going in Grizzly's Memorial Garden. For sure. For sure. Oh, oh, it, um, envelope. Yeah. Yeah. We'll put it in the envelope. 
We'll get we'll, <laughs> after a few packages. We'll get better at this, I think. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope so. All right, next package. Oh, yeah. This one is from K and S Haywood from Barongarook West, <laughs> Victoria. We have the best names in Australia, <laughs> Barongarook. I could be saying that totally wrong. I'm not sure. Is there a? There should be a oh, thing. Right there? There. No, oh, there, there it is. There. Yeah. Lucky you're here. Yeah. Oh, also, Hater is coming end of the there month very soon. Ooh. Oh, this looks like a cool rock. This is the card we were sent. To Chris and Zoe, our deepest sympathy, sympathy on the passing of your boy Grizzly. We will all miss him so much. From Kevin, Sharon, and family. This w- this looks like a piece of cake. That does look like a piece of cake. That's not <laughs> real. That's a- I know. Wow. I can feel Steve getting very excited yeah. about this rock from like across Wodonga. That's unreal. I love that. Thank you very much. And thank you to Trevor Dyer for your 50 stars. I have never seen, I have never ever seen a rock that looks like this. It does, it legitimately looks like a lamington. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I just want to eat it. Just want to eat it. I would go full grizzly and try and eat it. It's okay. You've already been sent a big box of chocolates. Yes. You've got something to snack on through the live stream. <laughs> Keep the energy up. All right. I'm going with this one. This one is from Rodney Whitehand from Corio, Victoria. How do you get the scissors? <laughs> I'm very sneaky. Oh, I hate it when you cut them like that. You could be cutting the present. I felt for it okay. first. Okay. Yeah. I felt for it first. I promise. All right, with the rock. Whoa, wow. That's. Looks pyrite Yeah, mica, pyrite, something like that. But check this out. It is shiny on one side. And it's like a piece of laminated quartz and host bedrock on the other side. Very, very cool. Fifi Carr just wrote, um, it's like a grizzly Christmas. <laughs> I was just saying that to Chris last night. Dear Chris, don't know where this rock came from and don't even know what it is, but it was a special (laughs) one, so Grizz would have loved to it. Take care. May your pants be heavy. All the best. Rodney Whitehead, thank you very much for that. That's unreal. And thanks to James Field for 530 stars. I think we need another international one. I don't know. uh, We're not sure who this one came from either. So Hopefully it's it's New Zealand. Yes, but we're not sure. Where. And it says, it says contents. I love the declaration on the front. The contents rock for Grizz. <laughs> <I> love <laughs> heart. <laughs> Where's the opening? Here. Just having a quick read through some YouTube comments, guys. Conan's reviews. Welcome to the stream, buddy. The American Abroad, Old Moldy Hat here. Sorry for the loss of Grizzly. Thank you very much for that, guys. We actually have Old Moldy Hats in the merch store now. After four years, well, four years, probably two and a half or three years of people asking me for them, we did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> here we go. In it now. We'll find out who it's from. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. Love this ribbon. Okay, it's from... Amanda Reynolds yeah. and um, <laughs> to- Tootie? 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 Tisman. Rock. Rock. Uh, it's from the Leaffield Beach on the east coast of New Zealand, South Island. Walking along a riverbed. Found it walking along a riverbed until we found a rock that stood out from all the others. Boring ones around it. <laughs> Thank you very much That's for that. Awesome. That's a nice package too. I'll write your name down too and put you in the hat for the draw. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we are giving away. Um, I better show you what we're giving. Away. That's a cool rock. That does stand out. The miner in me is like, I wonder if there's gold in that. So this is what we're giving away today. We have got grizzly merch. <laughs> uh, so we're going to give one out to Facebook, one out to YouTube, and one out to someone who sent the package in. And for the hat. For the hat. 
And also, I've got another competition where you can win a Batea pan uh, and one of those shirts, as well as a Best Damn Pans uh, from Placid Tools and a uh, magnet probe and a floating magnet as well. It's free to enter. I'll ship worldwide, and the link for that is in the description. So check that out, and please enter it because the potato pans are sick. They, uh, the mm -hmm. potato pans were donated from Aussie Gold as well, and you can get 10% off using the code Eureka at their checkout. And Busted Knuckles wants to know, are they moldy? Are the moldy hats new, or have they been sitting for four years? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it took so long. It, exactly <laughs> they had why to it mature. Took, they had to mature. This is the one you wanted yeah, to do. I'll I'm, leave that I'm one really... for you for next time. Okay. Ne next package, we can do All that. Right. This is from Gary Grossman uh, in Berrydale, New South Wales. He has packaged it extremely well. Not left me a single gap to stick my scissors in. Ah. <laughs> Oh, wow, you know how to wrap think, a package. Yeah, you might need to rip it a bit more. Oh, watch their address. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Very well wrapped. W anger, do you guys do each other's haircuts? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, there we go. I got in there. Letter at the top. Letter at the top. Ooh. Rock found here. Oh, damn. Look at that. Dear Chris, sorry for your loss of Grizzly. I was fossicking on the property of the... A little bit more. Not 100% sure I should say that, just because I don't want to give away his location. <laughs> That's really cool. I like the moss on it. That is cool. Yeah. Well, this was found in his fossicking location, and I really want to be able to show you this map that he's given me, but I'm not going to because it's his fossicking spot, <laughs> and that would be bad. Top secret. <laughs> yeah, it's top secret. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary. Was Gary? Yeah. yeah. Okay. This one, Zoe has been dying to open since we received it. This one, this little tiny package here is from Sputnik. So it's either a dog or a satellite. <laughs> or a person. <laughs> or a person. Sputnik. Possibly a person. Where is it? Open. Over down here. Oh, well, I, I have not... Um, I have not caught up with all the comments on YouTube. <laughs> Here's the letter. Dear Chris, g'day guys. Here's a couple of rocks for the Grizzly. The quartz is from Slady Creek. That's a super popular gold creek out here in Australia, out near Creswick. Uh, was Callie's now Sputnik's favourite place? So I'm guessing it is from a papa, though. Yeah, cool rocks. The piece of flint comes from the beach near... Portsmouth in England picked it up when I was there in 2016. I'm that's that. Sputnik and Shane. So it's from um, Aladdin's dog. Yeah, that's the flint. That's really cool. That's there you cool. go. Pits of Creswick quartz. So Creswick um, is a really big reefing area here in Australia. It's one of the richest gold fields in the world. Um, and that piece of quartz coming from that. Yeah. Super cool. Sputnik, you were right. It was a dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. We need international now, I think. This one looks pretty good. Nice. Another Idaho one. Idaho. Kim McLa McLaughlin. McLaughlin? Yeah. We're going with Kim McLaughlin. You do far better at reading the names. If I butcher your name, <laughs> I apologize Same. like so much. <laughs> I think you go across there. Okay. Uh, Oh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It was hidden nice deep down in, in the middle of the package. No letter. No letter. No letter. <sighs> Let's open it. Nope. 
Well, you guys package well. Actually, on that note, we've received a few little letters that yeah. have had tears and stuff in them. We don't know if rocks and stuff have been pulled out of them during postage. Yeah. So if you are going to send something, don't send it in like an envelope. Send it in at least like a, a padded bag or something like this yeah. because they um we, we think we might have lost a couple of rocks yeah, just because one, of that. One coming up in the international where it's got a bit of a hole in it. And no, but it feels like there's no rock in it. Bruh. I'm getting in there. Slowly. It's like past the parcel. <laughs> Ooh, Kim. Check that out. That is a nice rock. Ooh. That's got Calco Pyrite in it. And again, the miner in me is like, crush it and find out. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kim. That is a beautiful rock. I like how everyone's picking out these super individual and unique like rocks. Ruby would really appreciate that. He would. That. He would absolutely he love them. the unusual ones. Yeah. You, you open that. I'm going to read some more comments Alrighty. on YouTube. Jesse Thompson, thank you very much for 49 stars. Appreciate that immensely. Conan, why are you afraid of doing a live stream? <laughs> Uh, there's the letter there. Read first, read, being told. Read first. <laughs> okay. I won't get the rock out till we read it. Ooh. It's all padded in there. I like it. The kids have painted some rocks, especially for Grizz. They have been picked up on our many camping, detecting, panning, and scouting adventures. From uh, Laura, Hamish, Charlie, Hunter, Domino, <laughs> our, our fur baby to a 1.5. <laughs> Thank you very much. So these are, these are painted by the kids. That's really cool. Again, I'm going to read all these in depth um, just because of how many packages we've oh, got to get through. Do you want to hold them up? That one's pretty. That is super cool. I love that color blue. Trying to get it in the focal length. but oh. oh, this one looks like it's a smiley face. We need to know who painted which rock, so you're going to have to send yeah. us a message with that. And Lady Beetle. Oh, Beetle Lady. Yeah. <laughs> there was one in the car with hey, us that's yesterday. Cool. I used to paint rocks. I miss painting rocks. We should yeah, paint some rocks. we should. That one's cute <laughs> Now everyone's well. going to think I'm painting rocks for gold. That's not No. A, no. no. <laughs> That's Super awesome. cool. Thank you very much to, I believe it was the Moffat family. Yeah. Put them back in there with its wood. Yes. Woo. That's how you pack rocks. Very safe. Theresia Lions, 50 stars. Thank you very much for that. Was that that? Oh, we need an international you let, now. You let Chris use the scissors again. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's you quick. Give <laughs> He's quicker than me. Nimble hands. International? Yep. Yep. That one has Oh, a... no, 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 no. No. Can we? I want to do that one. What's what? The, the, the big box? Yeah. This box rocked up late last week. Some of these have been sent Big like over box. a month ago. This, I'm super keen to see what's in this. I think, are you allowed to open No, you better open this. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you better do that. <laughs> Lee, loving the shirts. Thank you very much. We absolutely adore these shirts. They're amazing. Annoying nagging. What do I think of Zoe's new haircut? I love it. It's not. It's not new. She's had that for a while. <laughs> you will get. You have your inquiry if we get more rocks, but they're all going into a garden. That's the thing. So we need a lot. Yeah. I've been very careful with this. Trying yes. not to. Shane Proth Prothrow ordered something this week. Going to let us know when it ships out. <coughs> Tickly throat. No. You better be. Stop. 
You better be recording this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are recording. Stop. You better be recording this. I want to see your reactions. That's what it says. So we are definitely recording. I hope. Who is this from? What does it say? Yeah, it does. Um, Craig. Oh, wait. Craig McCann. So Craig from McCann. From Jamestown, New York. So Craig from New York. You better be watching. This is your moment, bro. This is your <laughs> moment. <laughs> Try and. <laughs> I'm so messy. <laughs> it's all right. You only got your fingers at the moment. I'm safe. Oh. Okay. This, I feel like this probably needs to be read out. Oh. Wow, yeah, I know. it comes with an SD card. I'm going to read the first bit of this out because it's a long letter and then we're going to just, um, I don't get know. Get in the box. We'll get, we'll get in the box. Uh, this suspense is killing me. <laughs> okay. Hello, Chris and Zoe. I started this portrait at the end of September 2019. I only worked on it occasionally. I didn't know it would take me so long to complete. Originally, I started to paint Grizzly. I went to your merch page and saw that you had what I what looked like a T-shirt with a painted Grizzly print on it. So I switched it up and decided to paint your old moldy hat. Your face, your face just happens to be underneath of it. <laughs> In retrospect, I think I kind of think that maybe I should have stuck with the initial idea, things turning out as they have. <laughs> All right, we'll le I'll leave those letters there. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, let's, we can... Yeah. Again, time, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going straight a, to the pool room. Yeah, spinning image. <laughs> spinning image. Yep. Spitting oh image. my god. I think there's another one in there too. <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. Oh. Oh. Okay, now we need to read the letters. Yeah, we need to know what this one is. What is it? Show everybody. What is it? Oh, wait. I think you got it. I think it goes that way. Oh, yes. But still, what is it? Yeah. I'm going to have to read the letters. Yeah, I think so. And there's another one too. I've got to get that one out. They're cool. Yeah, they're awesome. They look like um, dot paintings or pointillism. Yeah. They're so cool. I was going to say, they got, they got that um, like Aboriginal vibe with the, the yeah. artwork they do with all the dots. That's they're really, really cool. Ooh. Careful. Okay. There's something written underneath. Oh, it might explain what it is. Monkey. This one's called Monkey Face. This one's called Inside Out. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see it. That's cool. This one's Inside Out. And this is Old Moldy Hat. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> they are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was not image. expecting this. No, me either. Not at all. All right. We've got to somehow put this back in so they don't get damaged. There's also an SD card that he sent that we'll have to look at yeah. in a bit. So yeah. once we finish all this, we'll look at that. Yeah. And depending on what's on it, we'll put it um, up with the other photos. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much for that. That was unreal. I was not expecting that at all. That was just like completely left of center. <laughs> I love the portrait. Let's see what people say about it. Love the impressionist style. Is there any on Facebook? Oh, I put that one. Dude, have you been hitting? Dude, have you been hitting the gym? No, <laughs> mining arms, bro. Ooh. Mining arms. So many, so many comments. Yeah. Oh, my word. Lots and lots and lots. Awesome artworks. Yeah, big boy gym. The COVID restrictions are a nightmare. I'm lucky this is my job, so I've been able to go out and 
there's special permission and all that sort of crap with it. But for most people, it has been extremely difficult. I know a lot of people use this, like I use it, to go out to the bush and do, you know, prospecting for mental health mm. reasons. And so I feel for you guys massively. I think I can feel what this one is. And I'm just going to put it out there right now. We're getting a lot of really stupid comments down here, and that's one sure way to get yourself banned very quickly. So don't don't be a fool. <laughs> just don't do it. Where'd the scissors go? I don't know. Oh, oh wait, I had them last. See? <laughs> blaming you. Safety scissors. This one is from Shelly Pedrana from Kuma. I think I can feel what it is. From the packet. Is Kuma the cheese place? No, that's Coon cheese. Oh. Is that what you're thinking of? Maybe, yeah. I'm sure it's Kuma. I don't know. Kuma is up near Canberra. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. So what? Feels handmade. <gasps> oh, wait. There's a letter. I didn't think there was a letter, but there is. <laughs> yeah. All right, I want it. Oh, there we go. Chris, okay. I have crocheted this beanie for you. I'm so glad it's not tea cozy that I just stuck <laughs> on my head. <laughs> I have crocheted this beanie for you. As you keep mentioning that your hats it's are old and moldy, the pattern is a, a meandering paw print, yeah. not my pattern. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Which I need to make you, make you straight away. I just couldn't find the right color, so I made my own color combo. And cried. Oh, mm -hmm. hope you like it and hope it fits. It fits like a glove. It's absolutely yeah. perfect. Wait Thank you, you very much. Wait till you see the portraits in it. Hope you like it. And if it fits, I can always make another. <laughs> and the letter. <laughs> it's made with 100% wool, so hand wash and let it dry. Okay. Thank you so much. This is a lot of effort. It's also really warm, so I am going to take it off because it's quite warm here today. <laughs> <laughs> you check out the paw prints, though. Where? See the little... Oh, there. yeah, yeah. Look. Okay, so it might be hard to see you on the camera. Put, it, put the paper behind it. I'm just going to... I think if there was the... white paper yeah. behind it, you might here we see. Go. So, crocheted paw prints. Yeah. Does that make it a bit easier? Yeah, a little bit better. There we go. Look at that. That is a cool beanie. I can't wait to next winter. <laughs> I'm so wearing this. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dan, Daniel Leach, thank you very much. $20 super chat. Haven't had a chance to get out on the river yet and find Grizzly a nice rock. It's a six to eight hour drive and I've been working six <laughs> days a week. Bro, I, yeah, no, I feel you. Don't, There's still don't plenty stress. of time. We're too. going to do more of these. It's there. We're going to do heaps. So don't stress about that. It's all good, bro. It's all good. You just do it in your own time. No one feel any pressure with this stuff. This is Grizzly about, mail is always open. Yeah. And it's about fun and enjoyment. That's yeah. exactly what it's no about. No pressure. So this is from Van Dyke. Yep. Or R.E. Van Dyke. From um, Miles City MT. What's MT? Someone in the chat is from America. Montana. Montana? Yeah. Daniel French, 50 stars. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> cool hat. <laughs> Sell them on your merch store. She might be flat out doing that, though. I imagine hand crocheting something for 60,000 people might be a bit intense. Ooh, okay. Here's a letter. And a card. Wow. Oh, puppy dogs. Pictures of puppers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Blake Mitchell has hand painted a rock to send down. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, that is going to be cool. Oh, yeah. Blake, yeah. Blake comes from Blue Dog Prospecting. I believe that's the correct channel. Um, and Blake. Uh, came out and prospected oh, with me wow. and stuff down here in the northeast. Really chill dude. Go check out his channel. Um, he's had a bit of a rough go of things at the moment, so I'd love to try and support him a little bit with getting you over there. He wants to review my pay dirt, but the problem is it takes me ages to make my pay dirt. <laughs> there are lots of photos in here too. So I've shown you the puppy dog one. but It's yeah. not the woman fuzzies might help you feel better. Aww. 
they do. <laughs> That's super cool. Again, letters, I'm going to read yeah. post-show. I want to know in the letter, though, like this one, I'm assuming it says grizzly bear, and yeah. that looks like they've got maybe candles or something. Oh, yeah. Or maybe it's a buffet. I'm not sure, but that's cool. You showed the puppers? Yeah, I showed yeah. the puppers. That's awesome. They oh, were... and the rock. Oh, and really the rock. cool rock. Well, that is cool. It's like I'm jade. sure this. I think it's yeah, jade. Yeah, it looks like jade, doesn't it? So, a possible jade rock. Again, this is all going to be uploaded. This is all going to be uploaded onto my Facebook page in the next couple of days or a week or so. Yeah, depending if you, how long it takes me to photograph and record everything. Yeah, if you don't have Facebook, you can actually view my Facebook through my website. You don't need an account. You don't need to sign up. Nothing like that. So it's there for that specific reason. I know there are people who don't use it. So um, that is a way around it so you can still get involved and, and see that sort of stuff. This one, I'm not sure who it was from, but I remember someone in the last live stream saying, if you receive something that looks like a pipe bomb, it's from me, but I can't remember who it was. <laughs> I'm assuming this is it. <laughs> Hopefully your name is in the parcel. Jeremy Woolsley, 200 stars. Thank you very much. And no, we haven't got your package. We went through every package here and it's not here. Apparently it's still in BC according to the tracking number that you sent me. So I am looking forward to getting your package though because there's some cool stuff in that that we're going to be able to give away. Actually, speaking of giveaway, after this package, let's give away a T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon that'll be fun. Oh, this one's hard to get into. <laughs> so we'll, we'll leave it open. Do you want to win a T-shirt? or Does Facebook want to win or does YouTube want to win more? Who wants Ooh, to win more? Who you wants got, to go first? So just start yeah. you know, spamming the comments of who wants to go first. Uh, there's a rock. Oh, there's a few rocks. but Oh, and oh, I think there's drawings in here. John Armit, um, yeah, hats. There's been a three week delay because they get manufactured at a different site, so they were designed with Karen um, and, and teased by me, but they get manufactured off site. So there's a little wait between getting the orders of those out. They should be coming into stock in the next week, and then they will be shipped out after that. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to <laughs> Facebook, show these. Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> this is from. Al, Lexi, and M. Yeah. I'll put. I'll write your name down, but you'll have to let us know who you, your address and stuff. I'll put you in the draw. What was the names? Al. So they Chris and Zoe. We were devastated to hear about Grizzly. He had become part of so many people's lives. Thankfully, his memory will live on in the amazing adventures you share with all of us through the internet. These rocks are from Anderson's Creek in Warrandyte, so they have known gold. Yeah, Anderson's Creek, another famous gold in Victoria. Not a big one, uh, but it's right in like the heart of Melbourne. So this is the rock that was sent. Yeah, there's two more as well. Plus some drawings I can't wait to show you. Um, we'll put your name in the hat too. In the hat. Last rock. Anderson's Creek. I have not been to Anderson's Creek, so it's cool to have a little piece of geology from there. Nice one. This one's, I'm sorry Grizzly died. I'm thinking about you and Grizzly all the time. I love your gold panning videos and how you do it. And they also donated $50 for, for Grizzly. Grizzly. Thank you very and much an for that. an awesome drawing. That is so cool. Isn't I it? love it. Is that showing up on Facebook too? Yes, it is. Cool. Yep. And there's a couple more drawings as well. Oh, one more. This is another. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about Grizzly, Chris. I really love your videos. And they make me laugh and smile. Well, that's, that's the whole purpose. On Facebook, how yep. cool are they? We'll have to frame them. This down here has to become my new profile picture in the near future. <laughs> I swear. It looks just <laughs> like you. Thank you they very much so for that. Cool. It's so cool. I love getting stuff like that. Yeah. It, it blows us away how strong this community is. And I wish I could do, like, more and more and more for you guys. That's why I, like, I just want to do more giveaways. I want to try and get meet and greets and all uh, that sort of stuff. So. Well, who's won the uh, giveaway? I think um, it's Facebook. It was definitely Facebook. With, yeah. the amount of, with the amount of Facebook spam we got, it was definitely Facebook. Oh, 
All right. How are we going to do it? The same thing last time? Um, yes. So this is how it's going to work. Facebook only. YouTube, you sit down and calm down for just a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook only. You guys over there. Uh, we want you to just type a random number. The number is irrelevant. You can just type one repeatedly. This just gets your name scrolling up in the comments section. Uh, and what we're going to do is I'm going to point at Zoe's phone at the comments. And then when I say stop the finger, where my finger is pointing, whoever's name is, oh, that's start who wins. already. Exactly. So start spamming. This is the, for Facebook. This is for Facebook not YouTube only. Yet. If you're on YouTube, there's you no point wait. doing it. You have to wait. <laughs> you have to wait for your draw. Okay, okay, so we're we're spamming away. You're here. looking away. Yeah, hang on. I'm just gonna get my finger lined yep. up. And then say when to stop. Go guys. So go, go, go. Spam, spam, spam. We've got to give them a little while because it's got lag time. Yep. How's it going? Is it streaming up pretty fast? Uh not yet. Not yet. We're waiting. <laughs> Come on, guys. Facebook, you can do this, guys. Then we've got we've got a hundred people. Ooh, one a hundred chance for a shirt. Maybe the internet's going a bit slow. <laughs> All right, we'll just start now. Stop looking. <laughs> I'll wait for it to go. Numbers, guys. Say when. Okay. We Robin Gibson. Robin Gibson, top fan with Ooh. a winning number of zero. <laughs> there you go. Robin, you've just won. Let us know what size you are. Yeah, let us know what size you are. We'll Small get this shipped to out to 2XL, you. Small to 2XL, I think. Yeah, and yeah. Um, just PM me your address, and that way we'll get it shipped out in the next week or so. Well, sorry, next week. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, that's the Facebook one done. YouTube, I told you, you don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> Guys. You're coming up next. You're coming up next. Okay. So this is from David Budlong in Lacey WA from yeah, WA. from America, though, Washington. not Western Australia. I think it's Washington. I'm not going to use the scissors because I think there's a letter up there. This is a well-taped letter. Yeah, you might need to just rip it open. Yeah. Chris, here are three rocks instead of one, <laughs> but each one is from a different state uh -huh. where my wife and I were prospecting, uh, prospecting near or where the rocks were found. This one's sharp. Orange one is one of my favorites found That's near the, the home one. in Washington State. Gray volcanic one is from Oregon near a river where, where we were panning in. And finally, the sharp piece of quartz yeah. came from a hillside overlooking the Yuba River in California. Sure hope Grizzly finds them interesting. Oh, Your friends, sure. Dave, Christy, and Bug. <laughs> Bug. Oh, <laughs> I want to know what, who Bug is. Yeah, I want to see a picture of Bug. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. That's super cool. I like this one. Yes. <laughs> Lol, rip it, you savage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these hands are not um, delicate, nimble surgeon hands. They Here's are brutal. Oh, I know who this is from. Ooh. This is from Aww. Crouch. It says, rest in peace, Grizz. This is from Crouch. So um, the camera's up there. his YouTube channel is a surf prospector. Mm. I've done a couple of videos with him. He travels all around Australia, um, living cool. the dream, living in his van, going surfing, going prospecting. He does the whole lot. A really, really cool chilled out dude. This means a lot. Thank you very much. Very much, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to read out the name on the back. <laughs> yeah. I got distracted. But he's, again, his YouTube channel is The Surfing Prospector. Go check him out because, like I said, he just travels around Australia and does mad stuff. <laughs> I need water. All right, what was that? that was Australia, so now we need to do. 
This one. New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah. We've got a few New Zealand from packages. From A. Ruskin or Ruskin from, I'm not even going to try and say that, Westland. Something Westland. Hockey Tika? <laughs> Hockey, hockey, a tick, tick. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. It's, I'm assuming that's Maori. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not going to try to say that. You'll have to let us know how to pronounce it. There you go. Corey Merrill. It is a pink. It is a pink quartz and feldspar with Eddie. Eddie. I don't know how to pronounce that word. It's pretty Epidote. nice for a semi-precious rock. There you go. Cool. Oh, I always got away from it. Maybe I'll just cut it. <laughs> oh, smooth one. Found out the other day, Trevor Dye found out the other day, Maori is pronounced Maori like your hat. Really? Is that a thing? I don't know. Huh. Here, here we go. All right, what do we got? We have a shiny, smooth rock. I'm <laughs> sure we explained a bit more in the letter. Dear Chris and Zoe, how many times I have laughed at Grizz goofing around in the background of your videos, enough to fall in love with him myself, to understand and share your pain, to shed a tear for your loss. I Every time I got home from filming a video, I'd look at it like he'd be editing and then you'd see him doing stuff in the background that I had no idea he was doing. It was always really, really cool. Yeah, it says it's that, a piece of greenstone. Yep. So this stone was found on a beach uh, west coast of the South Island in New Zealand whilst walking with my own little mate, Cashew. Aww. I love people's dogs' names. They're so cool. So creative. <laughs> Who was taken from us in a tragic circumstances a few years ago. I am <laughs> sorry, buddy. This is a rare piece of greenstone. Uh, technically nephrite jade. Used by the ancient Maori to make tools, weapons, and adornment. Believe it or not, this material was even more highly valued by the Maori than gold was. Wow. Wow. One, one of the hardest, toughest stones in the world. To my mind, a fitting symbol of the love you shared with Grizzly. Oh, thank you so much wow. for that. And it, there's a kia kana ka, kaha. Remain strong, strong, my, my friends. friends. The pain will ease all time. Andy and Cashew. Oh. <laughs> thank you so much. We love that. Yeah, absolutely. The stories is what make this. This is why I can't wait to read all these letters yeah. because they 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 bring it to life, right? Like that's what they do. Hey, what? You got that one? Yeah, scissors. I'm talking about. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Robert Imler, twenty dollars. Thank you very much. Grizzly couldn't have had a better mum and dad. <laughs> no, Aww. thank you. That means a lot. It does mean a lot to us that it's um I'm gonna rip it because I don't wanna accidentally cut the wrong spot. Oh, and this one is from Kenny Wing from Eustace M E. Where's M E? Uh Maine? Is that Maine? Yeah, M yeah. Maine. <laughs> Dear Chris, obviously getting two rocks from the far northeastern side of the United States is a sure sign of what this is about. Needless to say, I was so saddened to hear of Grizzlies, Grizzly in your recent YouTube video. You did a wonderful thing for Grizzly in his in that presentation, and it is very obvious that you two are best of buddies. I love the material the rocks are wrapped in. Glittery stars. Aww. That's super cool. That's super cool. That's super cool. A little bit of gold paint on there for him too. It says, so I'm sending two rocks in, mem in memory of Grizzly. This is a great idea you suggested and touch my soul as I am a rock guy. <laughs> the red one is from our local Mung Munskan shirt <laughs> uh, and is special here in Maine. It is fairly rare and with the best material used in Indian cultures in Maine, ever since the glaciers receded and exposed land over 13,000 years ago, I do archaeological work since my retirement as a forest That's ranger. Cool. 
and it is an eye catcher for us and a bit of excitement whenever it is found archaeologically. That is super, super cool, man. Yeah. That's awesome. This particular piece I found at an ancient Native American quarry site. Huh. That's awesome. The heart shaped rock is from my dear close friend, Deborah. She has a bulldog. She has a bulldog and was also very touched by your video. Uh, Both rocks are more flat than round, thinking the Postal Service would appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Kenny and Deborah. That's awesome. All right, we've done a couple of internationals in a row, so I'll have to do some Aussie ones to catch up. <laughs> Take the scissors before Chris hurts himself. Yeah, I shouldn't um, be allowed I'm here. still waiting to see if there's any safety scissors in here. <laughs> All right, uh, let's do a letter. This one, I reckon. Yeah. This is from Daniel Thomas from Emerton in New South Wales. Ooh. Yeah, sorry oh, about the, um, the jumpy stuff, guys. If Facebook is running through my phone because of technical reasons and if it is a little bit delayed, that is exactly Ooh. why. Wow. wow. Okay. What's this? You need to read about this one, I think. Hello, Chris and Zoe. My name is Daniel Toms. I'm sorry to hear about Grizzly. I love your YouTube channel. I watch it all the time whilst working. I have an eBay store and used to sell jewellery. I was going through some old boxes and found something that you would appreciate. Thinking of sending one to Pioneer Poly 2, but don't have his postal address. Don't get too excited. It's not real gold. <laughs> Devastated. Devastated. No, that's sick. It's a gold bar. That is awesome. This, these, all this sort of stuff, like the, these sort of bits, you'll see in the background of my videos. They're up on the shelves behind me, or at least in my that's new super ones. So. Cool. Yeah, that'll go up on the shelf. Right over there. Thank you. All right. Another Aussie one. This one's from South Australia. Oh, this is the one we think is full of glitter. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to make this out. When we pick this up, it covered. Wait, you've got the address on the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's a PO box. Yep. So, so it's not gonna, it's not exactly gonna go yeah. do anything bad. <laughs> um, but it's full of glitter. Yeah, the whole car was full of glitter when we picked it up. So we think it's, we think it's a glitter bomb. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't like it when you do that. <laughs> uh oh, glitter everywhere already. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a towel because otherwise it's gonna be everywhere. I think, oh, uh, I don't know. I think it'd be okay. Oh, no, it's going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day you get sent a glitter bomb. It's not every day at all. Here is the letter. Yeah, there's a lot of glitter in there. <laughs> two, Zoe, two Chris and Zoe, stay strong for each other and cry with each other. I've had a tear for little Grizz too. Here's a rock from us to remember the funny little guy who really loved hunting special rocks with his dad. Oh, my goodness. So much <laughs> Bindi glitter. <and> Dave. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I like it. I'm covered in glitter. We're going to be very sparkly. Yeah. So, Bindi and Dave. And on this side, Grizzly. Yeah. That's so cool. I like that. Put him back in there with all the glitter. Yes. There's a lot of glitter. <laughs> so, well, we're gonna, it's going to be one of those things in a few weeks it'll be... Sure um, that crest. I don't know either. There we go. Crystal Leach, 795 stars. Thank you very much for that. That's amazing. All right, now, some, I'm going to... I can't blow the glitter towards the laptop. That'll Let's be just a, leave the glitter where it is. Or not? All over your uh, grizzly shirt. Yeah. Perfect. And, and my hands. <laughs> Sparkle hands. <laughs> All right, this one is from Beryl Cuffard from Lake's Entrance, Entrance in Victoria. Give me those. Oh. <laughs> I think I have glitter in my nose. Feels itchy. Here is the letter. Yeah. 
few things in here. Better read the letter. And Krista, did you read that one out? Krista Leach? Yes. Yep. Oh, okay. Krista Leach, I read that one out. Double thank you. Double thank you. <laughs> Grizzly was one in a million. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 You gonna read any of it? Yeah. So what um, going on? Dear Chris and Zoe, what what can I say? Grizzly was one in a million. Uh, I'm gonna skip some of this later because I don't know level of privacy and all that sort yeah. of stuff. Uh, thought you might like a new old moldy hat. Keep your spirits up. I know how you feel. Cheers, Barrett Clifford. And he sent a poem along with it. It's really nice. You want to show the hat? Yes. By wearing it. Oh, what? Yeah. What does it say? <laughs> I can't quite read the top of it. Snow district. But I'm down. Got to adjust it, though. Right. Ah, hats. I love hats. Frit hats are amazing. And two rocks. That one's cool. I like that one. Yeah. It's got a lot of iron in it, but I have no maybe. idea. I need to learn, for a guy who does a lot of gold prospecting, I need to learn way more about rocks, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Thank you very much for that. And the hat. Oh, yeah. I've got so many hats. Zoe cracks us ad, so when she's got to, like, come in and rearrange things and whatnot within the extra storage we've got in our house, she's like, why have you got so many hats? I'm like, I like them too much. That's all right. <laughs> I have lots of different things as well. Yours is Converse <laughs> shoes. Yeah. yeah. That's, Zoe's, that's Zoe's Achilles heel, Converse shoes. Hi, Mike. Mike's making a cool vase for Grizzly. <laughs> hey, so where's all your gold jewellery? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't got any. W Anchor. Sorry, I don't know what your first name is. Mark is smart. My sister and I had a fight, a glitter fight on Easter 25 years ago and there's still glitter being <laughs> found. <laughs> well, I swear there's some in my nose. Mick, I hate glitter. Yeah, well, you, dude, you, you're looking after kids and stuff. I can imagine <laughs> glitter is everywhere in your house at random places. <laughs> this one is from Richard K. Berge? Berg? 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 I don't know. Cooperstown, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh. Do, 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 do. Yeah. It's not fair. The people have spoken. You're not to be trusted. <laughs> George May, do I have a tattoo of Grizzly? Yes, I do. You can see it in like all my videos. It's right there. I got that in Amsterdam in 2017. And I'm getting another one of his that I've going to, but that's a long story. That's a, that's a, a future tattoo. Yeah. And I've got to kind of wait for COVID to disappear before I can go get it. I'm struggling with this one. I've gone all backwards. I can't coordinate. I've gone all backwards. <laughs> You're doing a spot going backwards. <laughs> Office dog. All righty. Oh, calendar. Oh. And it's not for 2020. Oh, awesome. yes. Good stuff. <laughs> it's a nature calendar. That's I pretty cool. I think there's cool. something written in the front page. I saw writing. Oh, yep. Thank you very, very, very much for your message in this calendar. I, I love that. And we got that two rocks, to me. one from Thomas and one from Richard. Okay. So you open Richard's one. Getting Richard's one. So this time we won't mix the envelopes no. up. No. Like last time. So this one is Thomas's rock. This looks like volcanic rock. I reckon that's volcanic. I don't know. Mine's really cold. Mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Oh, it is. Yeah, okay. That's got a lot of mica in it by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. Heaps of mica and quartz. Wow. Thank you very much. That's cool. Your, your message was really nice. I'll have to show Zoe after this. Yeah, for sure. We have to do another. We've got less international ones. Yeah. Well, oh, okay, this, do that one. This is what I was talking about before. We might have. We don't know if there's a rock in this one. There's a split in the front of the envelope and... If there's meant to be a rock in here, it didn't arrive. Just just so you know. Who's it from? 
be on the back. Oh, it's up there. Uh, the Workman's. That's what it says. The Workman's from Shingle Springs, California. California. How cool is it getting mail from all over the world? It's ridiculous. Yeah, I love awesome. it. <laughs> Maddie hand the box a logo will make a great tattoo for you. I'm getting his paw print tattooed on me. Mm. That's my next tattoo. Here we go. This. I hope the rock didn't go missing, but I think it might have. <laughs> well, I'll show everybody the puppy dog. Puppy dog. Gorgeous. I'm just going to skim read this because it's a three-page letter, guys. I just want to find out about the Papa Dog. And, and he's also sent a, a Australian, Australian money. money from California, which is pretty <laughs> impressive. He sent uh, 10, 20, the, 30, 40. 40 Australian dollars, which will be going towards Grizzly's memorial seat. Yeah. Think. Okay. Um, this I'll read this part. My my wife, girlfriend at the time, volunteered at the animal shelter and offered to take her home because she required twenty four hour care. Obviously, we fell in love with her and had to keep her. <laughs> Grizzly always reminded me of her, and I always gave her an ear scratch after watching your videos. I was looking for the name. Yeah, my, is it at the end where Heidi. it says who it's from? Ah, Heidi. Heidi. There you go. So the papa was Heidi. Thank you very much. Oh, what, do you oh. have your first name at the end here? Matt. There you go. Thank you very much, Matt. I appreciate that. I'll read again your full letter yeah. at the end of the stream because we've still got so much to go through. Yes. All right, this one. Who's this from? S. Barrington. From Tathra. 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 Oh. No one sent safety scissors yet. No. <laughs> Not a single person sent safety scissors. Well, we've still got a fair bit to do, so there's still a time. If we get you some safety scissors, you can open some packets. <laughs> Cheap Chinese. All oh, this is live. I did not know. I did not know this. I've been watching for a while. Yeah, bro, it's live. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening right now. <laughs> Lots of bubble wrap. Oh, modern prospect, you caught COVID. That's not great. I hope you go well. I hope you come out of that and feel a lot better very soon. Yeah. Forever evolving. Great channel, by the way. Got to get to bed. Enjoy bed. Yeah, Corey, the, the grizzly tattoo that I'm getting is going to be mad. I cannot wait to get it. All right. Hi, Chris and Zoe. Here is a rock for Grizzlies Memorial. This rock was collected from a gold-bearing creek on the far south coast of New South Wales. The creek drains directly into the Pacific, hence the, she the seashells. Please keep up the great work you are doing in relation to PTSD and anxiety. I will. I will. That's one big thing that's sort of kept me going over the last six weeks has been really focusing on that sort of stuff. It's Ah, man, there's a lot to it, eh? Like I have, I have a lot of people following me on a lot of different platforms, and ooh, ooh. it's pretty. Ooh, ooh, there's a shell in yeah. there as well. Oh, oh yes, okay. Some of them have fallen off. Yeah, probably banged around in the post a bit. Check that out. That All Berry so Creek cool. goes into the Pacific Ocean. We don't have very many beach gold places here in Australia, I don't think. So that's a pretty nifty. Yeah. That's a pretty nifty find. I wonder what kind of rock that is. It's all know. sparkly too. I think Grizzly would love that. He would. Anything that was unusual. He'd be like, he'd be like, Boof. yes. <laughs> the, the shells wouldn't be on there for very long. No, they wouldn't be. <laughs> but yeah, the the whole PTSD and anxiety thing. Like, I'm trying to manage me at the moment too. That's a big thing. Um, it's not. Uh, it's not easy to wake up every day and. And talk about it and do all that sort of stuff so it's just one day at a time one little step at a time and 
trying to offer other people support through the channel where I can and when I can. And this one's an unknown one as well. A noon. This scissors emoji <laughs> from Donna Don B. Morgan. Yeah. Donna B. Morgan. <laughs> scissors emoji. This is all it says from Shane Ronaldo. Yeah, from SJR Industries. Are you open that one? Turn out the business card, so we'll show that. I'll write his name down so he can go into the uh, mail draw. Is there a letter? No. Oh, okay. That's it. Well, thank you very much for your rock, Shane. There's a nice piece of quartz that's gone crystalline. So it's, it's the start of forming little tiny mini crystals. That is pretty cool. It's, you can see where it was laminated on the piece of host rock as well. So it would have been sitting hard up against something in its vein. This would have formed. There would have been a cavity around it. Cool. Name for the hat. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. I love the purple tape on this one. Purple is my favourite colour, so I appreciate that. From N. Perkins hey. in Bond Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Desperate to open one, are we? Yeah. No fair. I want to play. Oh, the Lizard of Oz only just found out about Briz from the live stream. Um, oh, buddy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's still people today finding out, like, they, they're coming back to the channel and whatnot. So it's not, um, hasn't got everywhere yet. So M Perkins. M Perkins, there's a letter just there. Oh, that looks pretty. That is, I love the colours on that one. Show you once we know what it is. Hi, Chris and Zoe. Oh I've sent two crystals for Grizzly. One I can't recall a name, but it looks like a feather, so I thought okay, it was a beautiful that one. So this thought, is really insane. That is what? I know. What? Wow. That is really that cool. is nuts. Um, back to the note. So I thought it was a beautiful for Grizzly mm. as he soars above watching you. Yeah, the oh, second is nice. fluorite, which is supposed to help with healing and I love the color. A neutralizing negative energy. It's also just so beautiful, like your yeah. boy. Oh, that is the cool. The color is amazing. <laughs> it's got purple in there, like my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see purple on colorblind. So. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like yucky blue. Kind of warm regards, Na Naomi. Yep. Tenor Tenerfe? Might be Jennifer. Jennifer. An Oakley an, dog. An Oakley dog. Vortex Discoveries, future name, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Vortex. Planning for the future. It might be up because it's taken us a while yeah. to get these packages. So Vortex Discoveries. Ah, oh, Nick Moller, two bucks. Thank you very much. Hello, my friend from an old moldy hat. Nick was one of the first original OG followers on my <laughs> channel. First few hundred. He has been around for a long time. <laughs> this one is from Tim Snyder from Oregon City, Oregon. Tim's name is really familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen his name pop up yeah. a lot. Yeah. Most people don't know I'm colorblind, John. <laughs> That's why he always leaves the gems in the pan and doesn't get them out because he can't see them. People are like, look at all the gems you threw away. And I'm like, what gems? <laughs> what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're on about. Oh, this one's really stuck down. Flynn Wall, you will regret saying about the safety. He says, yeah, but I need them. That's the problem. I'm dangerous without them. The big thing is too, like people might think that we're going a bit overboard with the whole grizzly thing, but he had he had such a remarkable influence not only on my life but on on many other people's lives across the world. There wasn't a week that went by where I didn't get private messages or emails about how the channel would help them or how the channel had influenced their life for the better and seeking help for things like PTSD or recognizing their symptoms and stuff. And Grizzly was part of that. Without him, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it today. And so it was, he had such a short life, but he left such a strong legacy. And what we want to do is continue that legacy on. It's not about, it's not about um, 
how should I say, it's not about starting a foundation or anything stupid like that. It, it's just about taking the ideals that he taught me um, and giving them freely to other people. Now, I'm not a counsellor, right? I can't, I can't fix you or I can't help you with those sort of things in a really intimate way, but I can give you my experiences and through that, you can then help yourself. Like teach, do, teach someone to fish. We've been finding to with doing the grizzly mail too that it's helping everybody grieve. Like yeah. Not just us, but everyone who followed the channel. It's yeah. A, it's an outlet. That's exactly so that's right. That's the reason why we're doing it too. So Tim Schneider. Hi, Chris. Shortly after the COVID-19 pandemic started shutting everything down here, this little rock showed up on our mm -hmm. sidewalk. Someone has been painting them and placing them at all the homes in our yeah. neighbourhood. I think they are doing it to bring a little brightness in That's a dark so time. Awesome. This is exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. I've been sharing Grizzly's story with my wife. I told her about your suggestion about rocks for Grizzly's memorial. She and I each independently realised that this rock should be added mm -hmm. to Grizzly's pile. He would love so, it. He is a happy face rock from Oregon City, Oregon. God bless you and Zoe. We're praying for your mm -hmm. best regards. Thank you so That's much. So I didn't see the rock. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, my God. I love that. That's awesome. It's a great likeness. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Limbrick Grizzly passed away about six weeks ago. Um, he ate an illegally placed 1080 poison bait on public land, and we are – well, we – I am – fighting pretty hard to try and get that stuff banned and it's taking a lot of mental energy so it's going slow at the moment but we're getting there so that's that's the the end goal we're trying to get rid of that poison from our shores this one is from d cans from zehan tasmania and the other thing about the grizzly mail time is it's not just going to be about grizzly doing this. You can send stuff into the channel if you want me to review it or you, you want just to send a letter in to say g'day or whatever. We're going to keep doing these live streams. It's, uh, it's a bit of fun for us. If to, you want to say hi. Exactly. Yeah. And it's a great way for us to talk to you guys one on one, well, one, one on 500 <laughs> <laughs> in real time. And, and that is important as well because – I love you guys. Like, you guys have made such a big difference to my life and Zoe's life, and we want to be able to give that back. And I know it's hard to catch me in DMs, right, because, because cute, bloody hell. Cute little box. Oh, I like it. It says Grizzly no, no. on it. No, no not no. yet. Oh, there Ooh, it is. There it is. Two notes. Oh, okay. There we go. So that's his name and address. Okay, cool. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. Huh. Sorry for your loss, guys. Here is a piece of silver lead all the way from Zehan, so Tasmania, cool. the silver city. It also has a mini grizzly I found at the local market. Say, so stay strong. Oh, Dazza. There's some, yeah, there's more in here. I haven't seen the silver lead. Yeah. <laughs> this is a mini grizzly, was it? Oh, wow. oh my God. Oh, <laughs> what? What? Mini grizzly. That is oh, so super cute. cool. That is so super cool. I'd find somewhere special for that one. Yep. Oh my lord, that is so cool. What a find. Yeah, we'll put him up there for there now, eh? This is from the last stream too, cards and stuff that yeah. we got. So in future streams you'll see so more and he's more. He's sitting up there with the other grizzly we got last time. So this is Galena and Silver. That is that is interesting. I've cool. never seen anything quite like that. I can't wait for the photos to go up. <laughs> like because yeah. that's, that's where you really get to see the rocks and stuff properly and like the people who sent them the little stories behind them and stuff it's yeah it's good that's iron horse can i recommend a good crevice tool that i can buy online yes go to um blades by baz he makes a thing called baz crack scratches and they are the best on the market <laughs> they are <laughs> all right another overseas one this one is from Southworth, no first name, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Hey. Oh, we, got, we might have a visitor got some coming. Ang angry puppy dog. <laughs> Nick Moller, my dad just passed away a few days ago, Chris and Zoe. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. Sorry. About sorry. Gasping, maybe? It's Sunday. Oh, yeah. No. 
<laughs> of course, we get visitors during live streams. Yeah, that'd just be Rex getting excited. Rex does that. Our little um, Jack Russell cross whip it. He's like, you know what? Today is. Did, did we just? Did you already open this? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this one. You've been barking. Yeah. You're trouble. Mischief and trouble. That's what you are. So I'm sorry, Nick. I really am. That sucks, buddy. Um, our deepest, deepest sympathies from Terrors. from Zori and I. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Rex wants to help. Oh. <laughs> Get off, Dad. Oh, no, no we that. need that. All right, you. Now that you're not hands free, I've got to do this all on my own. <laughs> this is nerve wracking. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you might get weird lag, guys. I'm just reading some of these comments down here. I don't know what I should be opening first. Probably this. The letter? The letter in there? <laughs> Rocks for Grizzly. From, from Smoochie. From Smoochie. And Chris and George, see? Uh, or Claire, Clara, Chara, Chara. I think it said Chara on the letter. <laughs> on the... Papa. <laughs> rock, 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 rock. You're okay. both lefties. No, we're both righties. We're both it's just righties. the live the stream. Reversed. It's reversed on yeah. um, Facebook. Is it reversed on YouTube as well? It, I don't know. Is it? No, that's my right hand, and Grizzly is the right way. And yeah. you can. Oh, no. No, it is, it is reversed. They're both reversed. They're both reversed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we have. No note other than the other than the photo. The photos, yeah. So this is a cool rock. This looks like quartz crystals mixed in with a bit of post bedrock. Where are you going, Rexy? Not down. This is a rock. Once he's dead. I can't. I can't. I've got to lean forward. <laughs> so he's got to go behind. This is a piece of granite with a lot of mica in it. Heaps and heaps of mica. It's a very sparkly rock. It sparkles. And we like. I like this one. It got a hole. That oh. is oh my that, eyes. Yeah, that is it. cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. How awesome is that? I love the rocks that you guys have picked out too. Yeah, they're, they're, it's they're really, really cool. It's interesting to see like the different takes on what a what a interesting different rock oh, would be. What is like? What's in there? <laughs> <laughs> this is our special boy. He's a um. He had a hard life and um. He's a little bit slow, and we're working on rehabilitating him. I'm he's doing good. Not just bloody, eh? Yeah, you're doing your best. You always try your best. You do. Hey, yeah. Another American one. We just did an American one. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got more Australian yes. ones than American ones, we've so we're just trying to <laughs> gonna... do a few more Aussie ones so we get them balanced out a little bit. This one is from Bob Hayward. I can read your shirt on YouTube. Malam Bimbi. Yeah, parrot, parrot tea. You can make a necklace out of the um, rock with a hole in it for yeah. sure. There's a <laughs> While our dog Crowley just ran at the TV to give your pups a kiss. <laughs> That's cool. 500 stars from Hayley Gaincott. Um, love from the UK. Doggy paws printed oh. forever in our hearts. Oh. Thank you very much. Thanks for staying up. It must be the middle of the morning. It like the night. must be super early in yeah. the morning in the UK. So, Robert Hayward, thank you, Chris, for being so honest with your feelings. As you might imagine, as a geologist, I have a very large collection of rocks. <laughs> most of them, yes, I know I know a few geologists, yeah. and they, uh, uh, most of them are in my head one way or another. 
But I but I have plenty of real ones too. I've selected two half fist size rocks for you. One is a lovely piece of rhyolite from Mount Coulomb on the Sunshine Coast. It's been diamond sawn and has a flat side, so it might be useful. The other is a very crumbly bit of granite scarn from, of all places, Mount Garnet on North in North Queensland. It's a very dense. It's very dense. I suspect it has other minerals besides garnets. You might want to break it up and check out what might else be might That's what else might one. be in there. Possibly galena, which is lead, uh, phalerite, cassiterite, <laughs> and it could have a speck or two of gold. Who knows? I'll post them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All the best, Bob. They both got it. This one that you have has lost a bit of its. Yeah, it's he all said crumbled. it was super crumbly. Yeah. So yeah, garnets. There you go. I can see them like too. There's mm. freaking heaps in there. Yeah. That's unreal. What's this one? Oh yeah. Ooh. I appreciate sawing half rocks. I really do. I don't. So there's something smooth. satisfying about that. Like that straight edge. <laughs> what do you think, Spotty? Thank you very much for your rocks. They're going straight to the garden. <laughs> 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 Doggo has a kissing spot on top of his head. Yeah, this one, this <laughs> here. <laughs> Package. Letter. One deal letter. Yep. Okay. Uh, K. Doherty. From Lebanon, Oregon. You are so much better at reading names than I am. <laughs> you tired? Do you want to hop down and go to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was obvious from your videos that you love Grizzly very much and that's and that he loved you. Oh. And rocks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much for that rocks, card. We can put sure. that up here. Here's a big one. Big box. Kilts Gaming, $10. Love your videos. Help me learn so much. Thank you very much for that. And that's the goal of my videos, right? I'm not I'm not an entertainment channel. I'm all about that education. Just trying to get as much information in the videos as I can. Thank you. This one is from here. Uh, Robert Roy. From? Washington. Yeah. Oh, no, this is Washington Beach Mining. Oh, yeah, okay. Washington, Robert Roy. I know who this is. Yeah? Yeah. Ugh, I did not expect you guys to be sending me a package, Robert. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get in here eventually, guys. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm, I'm just spending the time reading some comments. They sure pack stick stuff everywhere when they've come from the international. All the declarations and stuff, extra stickies. There we go. Corey, so... The Perth Mint apparently made a silver lunar zodiac coin with Aussie opal inlays, including the year of the dog. That's pretty cool. I should look them up. Yeah. All right. Oh, bubble. I won't pop them yeah. because we have other dog, uh, another dog barking situation. First off, uh, hi, Chris, and your better half, Zoe. <laughs> First off, we are both completely sorry and sad to see Grizzly leave us too soon. He was a big part of your channel and a delightful, a delightfully strange personality. We have included a rock for his memorial in the other package to open on your next Grizzly mail. We have been following you for years and appreciate your dedication to teaching others how to find the small gold as we have been teaching others how to find gold in our area too. I wanted to send you a sample from our neck of the woods. 
or sands, a bag of pay dirt. It will test your skills. You should catch at least one quarter of a gram of super fine gold from the bag. It is some of the hardest gold to catch in pants. I wanted to share it with you as we are both mostly hunting the same thing. This is going to, I'm making a video on this. Is that sands actually in there? Customs in Australia is... This I'm not going to swear, but a mother rudder. <laughs> this was wrapped up pretty good, so I don't know. I think it might be. I've also included a sawtooth mat for you to try in your sluice. The mat was designed around oh catching the same gold and that we sent. Oh, my God. That's full of boxer stickers. <laughs> boxer stickers. Look at this. <laughs> the packet's full of them, and too. And there is a rock. <laughs> and then you've got – here you go. Um, was well, there's meant to be sand in here? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, that's... I think it is. Oh, I say that's the sand. It feels heavy. Oh, yeah, that would be it. This is – I've never had pay dirt before. This is my first bag of pay dirt. <laughs> and um, I've got to finish reading this letter. We also included a bilge pump speed controller for you to test out. I also gave you another one to give away to your subscribers. When I make this video, I will give away the other speed controller. And a map. Or to help, or auction it off to help. Yeah. Get my. I also included one more for you to give away to your subscribers or auction it off to help your cause with PTSD. We also appreciate you coming out and addressing the problems with having PTSD. Um, I don't know if I should read that last bit, so I'm just going to skip that. Um, Let's read this bit. Yeah, please keep out the uh, please keep the great vids coming, and congrats on the sixty thousand subscribers. Your friend Robin Wendy, Washington Beach Mining USA. Thank you so I much. I love the stickers. I follow your channel. So, <laughs> um, like I said, I will. Oh, I mean, uh, whoa, what? It's mining stuff. Oh, <laughs> I'm um, just trying to keep things moving. Okay, this is unreal. I am so this and this and I'm gonna make a video on all this because this is definitely gonna fit my sluice box and this is heavy as I think this is the same sort of stuff we dig out from Reedy Creek, which you're right, it's basically black sand, it's not magnetic, and oh. you have to slowly <laughs> pan it down. It's a nightmare to do. This sticker looks like grizzly. <laughs> <It does. laughs> And this is something I have needed for a long time. I'm using a mechanical reducer at the moment in my cleanup sluice. That is going to be much better because I can get the water just absolutely perfect. So I hope they're watching right now. So cool. I'm going to stick that stuff on stuff. Oh, I hope I get some too. Yeah. <laughs> this was Rex a minute ago when he thought someone was here. Let's go. <laughs> I'll fight you. Um... Amanda, P.O. Box 292, um, the P.O. Box is 292, Victoria, Australia, 3690. 3689. Uh, 3689, well, it won't matter. It'll still go to the same place. But the, the address is in the description. All my videos has that address in it, so you don't need to worry about looking at for it in the videos. It's in that description. Um, Stacey Lynch need a t-shirt like you guys where are they from links in the description merch page is now up and running we will have international shipping hopefully this week there was a glitch on the website we're trying to rectify and fix it so stay just keep an eye on it over the next week and eventually you'll have international shipping so yeah that's just um, something to be aware of All right, this one is from Jay Miller, Flowerdale, Tasmania. Oh, my, oh, popcorn. <laughs> I thought it was going to be glitter. <laughs> <laughs> we had to be careful last time after the last live stream when we finished. Our two boys were like running around trying to eat them. They're like, oh my gosh. Popcorn. Popcorn. Popcorn would be good right rock. now. Okay. Wow. Right. Nice paper That's and over. fancy handwriting. And awesome rock. Okay. <laughs> Do you need help reading that one? A rock for grizzly, a mate taken too soon. The rock is a... Calder River yeah. agate? Oh, cal yeah, agate. There you go. That makes perfect sense. Found more panning. Really cool. 
in Tasmania in 2020. That's awesome. Thank you, Liz. Rock. Ooh. Agates. Agates are cool. I don't see too many of them, but I'm not really like a I, – I've never been a, a huge gem person, probably, again, because of the colour blindness. <laughs> <laughs> helps when you can see them. Yeah, so it sort of helps when you can see them. But um, they're cool. I love the structures in them. I've got a few agates now, um, nice ones for my collection, and they um, they always – you sit there and they're like mazes. They're really, really cool. That's so cool. Ah. Uh. Hello to everyone in the comments. I'm seeing a heap of people like roll through, like different people coming up. And yeah, if there's a question that someone answers, uh, asks in the comments and I don't answer it and I miss it, please just um, answer. If you can answer it for them, because, you know, it helps. It helps us and it helps you guys learn and know stuff. I was just looking at this comment from Maddie Hahn. Does that mean Zoe has gray hair? I missed the comment before that. But yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> not fully grey, but enough to drive me insane. It's not grey. It's silver and it's beautiful. <laughs> We've got um, some more star donations. Trevor Dyer, 500 stars. Thank you very much, Trevor. And Michelle Licht. Licht. How do you say your last name? Licht. Michelle? Was it Michael? Michael. Yeah. I'm sorry. Dyslexic. <laughs> yeah, dyslexic. Um, Michael leaked 100 stars. Thank you very much for that. David Buckle says there is no gold in Tassie. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Jesse Thompson from Miner's Rest, Victoria. Ben the Page can't wait to get my big boxer shirt. Yeah, this <laughs> is it, bro. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to release the next batch of pay I am keen for that, but... I'm still trying to collect more gold because I do not have enough bags. I've got to do a patron only release and then I've got to do a um, like a general public release. And yeah. So well, who was this from? Sorry. Jesse Thompson. Jesse Thompson. Jesse. Jesse. These rocks are all dedicated to Grizzly. They have come from a couple of locations around Ballarat. I found the Skull Rock. Right after finding out about Grizzly passing on, I saw a box ahead when I found it. Yeah, I think that might be this one. It felt like he left it there for me to find and give to you. My lads carefully chose the other rocks just for Grizz. They know mm -hmm. how important a special dog he is in life. All the best for the future of the Thompson family. Thank yeah. you very much. Super cool. I like that. The big bubble. Yeah, that was the skull one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. That's really cool. Super cool. Uh, Prue Valentine, 276 stars. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Craig Pater will be available end of the month. I don't have dates. I'm not putting dates on it because I I because I make this all myself. I mine the gold. I do all this. It, it's a lot of work. If I put dates on it, it, it gets really stressful. So I'm just like, <clears throat> you know, whenever it comes out. <laughs> this one, I'm not sure what the first initial is, but N. Uh, Gary. N. Gary from Houston. Idaho, not Texas. Yeah, Idaho, not Texas. <laughs> you better get that right. I'll have to rip this one. Possibly to get to it. Yeah, Trevor, the black dog pay dirt. I've got that. I've, I've done a couple of stripping runs to the point where I've extracted most of the gold from the black sand so I know how much gold I've got to work with and how many bags I can make. And I can't wait to do that. It is going to be a nightmare for whoever gets it to pan out. An absolute <laughs> nightmare. I tell you what, like I'm pretty good at it. And I learned on that stuff and it's hard. It is genuinely hard. Sean Squeak. Zoe and I have been together for four years. Yep. Four years this year. Yeah. This is like I'm not sure where the hell to get in here. Oh, Jesse Thompson's in the chat. Check out the bigger quartz rock a bit closer. That's the box ahead. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll remember that when we photograph it so we, we have it all correct. I can't find how to get into this box. Timothy Pirate? Uh have I ever gone to Tasmania or Canada? I've been to Canada, I've been to Tasmania, but I've only been to Canada for gold and I've only been to Tasmania for pleasure. 
I did a series of videos on that. A lot of people won't have seen them because of how many subs I've gained since then, but I hung out with Pioneer Paulie for almost a month and um, we went prospecting a lot. It was good fun. Here is the letter with something in it. I have dirt for sale, gold free guarantee, Mr. Business. What a business you have. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie Hand, if you don't know what a stripping ride is, check out Chris's other channels. Yes, you can find them on Pornhub. <laughs> um, Jeffrey Bag of Donuts, $1. Thank you very much for your donation. So this one's from David Gary. This um, sticker got slightly damaged from the rock in the box. But... Oh, look, it's going to come up the right way because it's backwards for us. Yeah. <laughs> it's the right way for everybody else. Uh, dear Chris, we're sending you a heart rock I found while on an outing with our own dog, Madagascar. Hey. <laughs> I love people's names. She, uh, she loves diving for rocks. There's another letter in there as well. Wow. I think this letter goes with the other rocks. This for them. Okay. Yeah, well, so it's this the same is, yeah. people, but I think that one's from the Papa Dog. So this is the heart shaped rock? Yeah. <laughs> And from what I can gather, and this is these might be from companies who produce them. Chris and Zoe, as I watched your video, I realized what you are now holding would be the best I could do for you and Grizzly. I found and dug out a whole bunch of these about 20 years ago near a place called I'm not gonna say yeah. it because I don't know whether or not um yeah. Uh, it's in central Idaho near my home. This this one, as a twin, as a twin, speaks of you and Grizzly together. I sincerely hope it works for you. Please keep up the great work and do keep your chin up. David and Nicole, P.S. I hate bumper stickers and would never place it on my vehicles. Thought you would like it to have it. That's, sticker. That's that sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this crystal. Dug Look that out that. 20 years ago. That is That's really cool. Like huge. That is a massive. And then another one just there. <laughs> Zoe and I both went and played a thing called foot golf, where you kick soccer balls around a golf field and get them into golf um, soccer ball sized golf holes. And we are really sore from doing that. <laughs> so every time I lean over to the camera, I'm like, oh, old man noises. <laughs> oh, Flower Gold Wizards is in the house. What's up, bro? All right, I think it's about time we do a – how many have we got left? Not too many. So we'll do we'll do another giveaway for a shirt. So for if, YouTube. For YouTube this time. So I've done the Facebook one. YouTube, you want to win an upside-down boxer shirt like this <laughs> with now probably with glitter on it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do it for YouTube. So it. same deal again. We start spamming the uh, numbers on the YouTube comments like you're just starting to do now. I have my finger on it. Then I look away from the screen. I'm going to say stop. We're going to pick a winner, and we're going to ship it to them. Everyone is absolutely going nuts. That is exactly what we want. I pretty, I like the people who are doing double numbers as yeah. well. Like, what All a right. Method. You've just got to say when. Keep going, guys. It's going nuts. Good. Now you go even nuts. I want to get a good mix. Okay. Oh, I can't get it to stop. Seize the day. Seize the day XX4. So you have won. You've won a T-shirt. Send me an email, logusgold at gmail.com. That oh, is the address, and then we can get that out to you. Let me write it down. Seize the day XX4. Numbers are still going. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop now, guys. <laughs> All right. Oops, sorry. Mark Bushel uh, from the UK. So I don't think you're going to be here. You might be. If you're a night owl. Yeah, if you're a night owl. 
No one complained about me having the scissors either. I know. You quick. <laughs> All right. Don't worry. Shredded cardboard. You don't see that every day. No, you don't see shred, shred, shred. shredded cardboard. Oh. Oh. oh, my goodness. This is a, a rock and a half. Okay. I appreciate notes like that. If you want stuff read out, if you send something into the mail and you want it read out, or if you don't, if more if you don't want it read out, leave a note and um, then we can we can edit as needed. Can I show the rock with yeah. um, the writing on it? <laughs> that's super is cool. That, yeah. Is that safe Yeah, that's fine. Yep. Giant rock. I can hardly hold it up. Oh. Uh. Dear Chris, I am so very sorry to hear of the loss of your son, Grizzly, especially under such appalling circumstances. There are times when human behavior makes you feel ashamed to be human. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too true. I lost my daughter, Sarah, earlier this year to a form of cancer. She was daddy's little girl. Mm. I have enclosed a photograph of Sarah and myself. She was my world. I know the loss leaves a big hole in your side that can never be filled. Although it will never. Compensate. Although it will never compensate, you will always have a loving memories of all the happy times mm. you and Grizzly enjoyed together. It was very clear for all the world to hear, see that if your love. Could have saved Grizzly. Could have saved Grizzly. He would have lived forever. He was very lucky to have such an amazing dad. I would like to say a very big thank you to both you and Grizzly for all you have taught me about gold prospecting from watching your YouTube channel. The only mm -hmm. place I can really go gold prospecting in the UK is up in Scotland during the summer holidays. Yeah. That's cool. I hope the rock I have sent would have met with Grizzly's approval. Yeah. It was just an ordinary rock that I picked up from a field in the English countryside where I walked my dogs. I now, It's now a very special rock. It's Grizzly's rock. Good luck with Vogus mm -hmm. prospecting. Even though it will never quite be the same, I very much look forward to seeing and learning a lot more from you. This planet and the life on it needs people like you so please take very special care of yourself and look after yourself warm regards mark that's nice mark that means the world to us Our, like um trevor dyer who sent the giant rock last time thinking this one might be in competition for the biggest rock <laughs> you know, i think they're pretty similar um i that message just hit me in the feels because This is um. I better show you this, Mark. Yeah. Was Mark, it alright to show that? Yeah, he yeah. He didn't say. Yeah. See. Yeah. Just that and yeah. that. Yeah. Mark and his daughter Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> At the beach. She looks like one happy papa. Oh my. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. It just speaks of it, you know, like. So many people in this world, especially with the way that we run things in the West, with materialism, I suppose, being being at the forefront of it, forget that family isn't just human and and people is another term for personality as well. That's a, a, a person. A, yeah. It, when you're a person, right? It doesn't mean human, it means personality. And We've found that Rex and Spot have their own personalities and they both love and they both have ambitions and dreams and that and you see it because we watch them play these things out every single day and Grizzly was no different and and there are literally millions of animals all around the world who are in situations with families and stuff where they're sharing those same sort of experiences. Um, it, it's... This whole thing 
has been devastating, but it also like I put up a post on Facebook yesterday that I feel the weight of, I feel the weight of a lot of souls on my shoulders, which is that I want to try and get this stuff banned because we owe, we owe the animals that have to be removed from a very delicate ecosystem, the opportunity for a humane death. Um, something that sits in line with what we all achieve to strive for our own families. You know, we don't, you would never want that for your own family members. So why is it okay for something that you don't consider it? Um, why is it okay for things like that to be done to things that, that, that you don't have to witness, you know, it's still happening even if you're not witnessing it. So I, I want that. That's what that letter brought me. was just that, that's what I want to be able to do is give these guys an opportunity for it. Stop you. Me too. Oh, let's keep going. <laughs> this one's from Harry Stevenson. From Victoria Harbour in South, South Australia. Australia. I've been to Victoria Harbour. It's a nice place. Seen a few people come up with saying they're sending rocks soon as well, and that's fine. But going, like I said, we're going to do more and more and more of these. Like, try and do maybe once a month or so. Oh, that's a return envelope. Okay. Okay, so um, there's nothing else. It's just a return envelope if okay. you want to reply. Yeah, no, cool. So I will, I will reply to you uh, writing basically. But it, it was a short letter just about that. He likes the channel and he's not great with the internet, he said. So he's just writing a, an actual letter. So this is like a, a hard copy comment. <laughs> um, uh, I'll, I'll write back to you, buddy. That's going to be the best way to do it, I think. This was sent a month ago. There's lots of puppy dogs saying hello as well. Oh, yes. Awesome. Yeah. Where does scissors go? There. Found them. Also, um, just everyone, I know there's big fires going on out in, uh, like, California and Canada and all across the United States, I think through the Midwest and whatnot, if I am correct. Uh, and my deepest sympathies and heart goes out to you guys. I know what it's like to deal with that. We dealt with that for six months this year here in Australia. So it is stay safe out there. Leave early if you have to leave. I'm not sure if I dropped anything in. I don't think so. This is from the satchels from... Glen Orchie, Victoria, possibly. Thanks so much for your videos and so sorry for your loss of Grizzly. So heartbreaking. Good luck for the future. The satchels. And we've got rocks. Oh, we've got moss rocks too. <laughs> I like the mossy rocks. I like that oh, one. Man. That's cool. Mm. Colors in that. Oh, yeah, the moss. Oh, this is really similar to the bedrock I hunt, actually. This is like a form of sandstone. This breaks up. On my videos, you'll see like a clay sometimes come up into the solution. You will see me just kick it out the back because what it is is bedrock that's decayed and there's never anything in it. I've done that much testing for it. Really, really similar, but it's just like literally a, um, a sandstone base that degrades over time. Pretty cool rock. Mm. And this one is from Mitch L from... Perth, Western Australia. <laughs> Mitch L, not to be confused with Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> note. Uh, two Chris and Zoe. Read that bit. Maybe don't read this bit on camera. Okay, I can do that. Dear two Chris and Zoe, thank you for sharing the beautiful boy Grizz with the world. No offense, but he was my favorite character on the channel. <laughs> Mine too. <Fair> enough. <laughs> I found this rock in the backyard of a rental property I was living in. As That's soon cool. as you asked for rocks to remember Grizz, I knew this rock would suit. That's awesome. 
Side note, I have a dog named Cooey, <laughs> which, made, which made it easy to call him back in the bush, who <laughs> has been the greatest support That's to awesome. me during my tough times. They truly are man's best friend. Thanks for, thanks for sharing, Mitch L. Thank you very much. And Cooey. <laughs> that is a super cool rock. Wow. That's another bit. It's a cake rock. <laughs> I won't eat it, I promise. Um, I want to do the one down there from, yeah, that one. So I've already opened this and you've already, well, a lot of you have already seen it. But this is from Baz or Blades by Baz. I mentioned earlier on the stream about getting crack scratches. He made me a knife. Now, I am a huge fan of knives. I just like the, the craftsmanship and the work that goes into these things. He collaborated with four people, I believe, like different companies and everything to make this. He hand forges crevice and tools. He also hand forges knives. You can see them. I believe he's got a Facebook page, maybe a website and a few other things. Um, he's on most of the gold prospecting forums and stuff as well. Very talented man. Check this out. Oh, oh my God. It's mm -hmm. got um, oil on it. I had to put oil on it. So that's why it's, it's a bit crusty looking, but look at that. Grizzly. He put Grizzly's motif on it, and this is the sharpest knife I have ever owned. Like, watch this. No, don't cut that. Why? Because I want to keep it. Cut the packet. Packet? No, I need a piece of paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, it push cuts, which is what's unreal. So it means that once you – there you go. Yeah, I did a terrible job with that oh. little small piece of paper. But it is oh, – there, there, there we go. go. It is ridiculously sharp, this thing. Like – it's fun doing that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I believe custom made pouch and everything is unreal. So if you get a chance, go and check it out. Thank you, Baz. This will go on all of my prospecting trips for that exact reason. It is just is amazing. I cannot believe the craftsmanship that went into that. I am still flabbergasted every time I look at it. <laughs> this one is from um, Craig McCann, the same guy who did the um portraits right at the start oh yep okay this is another package from him from jamestown new york mr business i am never going to replace Grizz. never i'm not going to replace him you can't replace him it's not possible um i will get another dog in the future uh when we're ready and he will be trained as a proper ptsd service dog something i was working on with grizzly but we didn't end up getting there we had several things to get him through training wise before we could even think about starting it um so yeah it's going to be a long process there you go. thank you all the way from new york city the box in a box the box in a box Okay. Dear Chris and so I'm so sorry for the loss of your boy Grizzly. He was not only a huge part of your li uh, your lives and bogus prospecting, but a character known and loved around the world. Here is a rock for Grizzly's memorial. I picked it I picked this rock up from the bottom of the Grand Canyon in twenty twelve while whitewater rafting with my at the time fourteen year old daughter. Peace and love, Craig. This is super shiny. P.S. Here's 20 bucks to help with the expenses or to start a fund for one day when you may consider getting a new puppy companion. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Super shiny. From the bottom of the Grand Canyon. That's so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Wow. That's a lot of mica. <laughs> that is a lot of mica. This rock is like 90% mica. <laughs> <laughs> seen that on your latest Grizz video. That's such a cool knife. Now take it off him, Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Use the knife to open them. But it's going to be used to make my lunch and such. <laughs> Have we got more Australian packages? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, just let me put this one down. Read some more comments. This one is from 
MJ Fury from Cranbourne, Victoria. I think snails or something have eaten this a little bit and somewhere in the mail. <laughs> Dear Chris and Zara, I'm so sorry about Chris. I'll miss the boss dog. I, uh, I, as I, as I have been watching for some time now, I like when Chris does something out of the normal Grizz look thing with the face to let Chris know that. <laughs> uh, when I was 12, I found this rock. The only one I've ever found in New Zealand. This rock gave me hope as I was in a bad place. Uh, this is really cool. He says, this gold has gold in it. This gold has gold in it. Yeah. No, this rock has gold <laughs> in it. <laughs> um, I can't get into it. Or how? This, this gold rock has been in my hands now for 43 years and gave me hope. Gold. But I am not a lucky person. That's really cool. I got a metal detector. Had it for two weeks, went into lockdown, can't, and I can't win a thing. So next time I'm going for a gold pen. <laughs> That's the thing. If you're going to detect, you're going to be looking for a long, long, long time before you find anything. Get a pen. You'll find gold almost straight away. <laughs> so I like Grizzly. Chris and Zoe to have my gold rock because I know you look after it and love it as I do. Yeah, I... absolutely. You might need bro, to hold it up closer to the Facebook. Far out, that bro. That's unreal. Me. That's nuts. Thank you so much for sending me your lucky gold rock. That's nuts. That's actual gold in the piece of quartz. Insane. That's nuts. I will look after it. Don't worry. Well, Grizzly will look yeah. after it. He's rock. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be protecting it. I can promise you that. Thank you very, very That's much. Really, really and don't worry, cool. bro. Luck favors the people who do the things the most. So just do your best to get out and, and have a crack at panning and whatnot. You'll find some. You'll find more. I promise you. And if not, pay dirt. That's the way to go. Like There's heaps of good, reputable pay, pay dirt vendors on online like Washington Beach Mining. They are a good company to go get paid it from. Or Shane from Clash Guitars. And um, you'll at least get your gold. This is another one from the UK from Luke Bushel. I think I'm saying that right. I don't know how to open it. I have to do what you do. Cut it slightly. And then go in. Yeah. Yeah. That seems about the safest way to get into it. There we go. Letter. Dear Chris from Luke, I have been watching you for a very long time and was really sad to hear about Grizzly. He was a really big, funny character. In honor of him, I am sending you a rock from my local river called the River Dart. I went up on the moors cool. to do some gold panning with my mum and found this one, which stood out to me. That's cool. How old are you, Luke? I get the feeling that you are not an adult. <laughs> I reckon. I would, I would hazard yeah, a guess. I think yep. his mum or dad might have written the letter and he wrote the part. I like Luke. this rock. It's a piece of ironstone, yeah. like heavily laden iron. That is really, really cool. I know Zoe's already showing you, but I, I was <laughs> just participating. you got longer arms. <laughs> That's super cool. Thank you very much, Luke. I appreciate yeah. that. I see why you think that would stand out. It's damn near a perfect rectangle. Yeah. <laughs> David Tomes, ten dollars. Thank you very much. Hi Chris, I'll send you something eventually. Good to see you too. I love your photography, bro. If you don't have like an Instagram or something to put your photography up on, you need to do that. This one, we're not, I'm not sure who it's from. It's just got a return address. So hopefully, there's a name in here. But we only got a couple of packages left. And then we can do the draw for yep. the people. Yep. Oh! <laughs> what? Show, show everyone. Who's it from? I don't know. You have to open the card. How? Yeah, 
Haley, Haley and Cameron. And Cameron. All right, so we haven't read the card yet. Haley and Cameron. Looks <laughs> just like him. That oh. is so damn cool. <laughs> write down name for the giveaway. Uh, it's an amethyst rock. Uh, this stone is a highly spiritual vibration. It's a natural tranquilizer and aids in blocking negative energies in the external environment. Man, I need that for my comment section sometimes. I need to stick an amethyst right up in there. <laughs> Dear Chris and Zoe, we are deeply saddened by your loss of Grizzly. He was a beautiful companion who stuck by your side no matter what it was. We are honoured to have met a compassionate and loyal friend, Grizzly. He was a wonderful dog and lucky to have found a family as loving as yours. With deepest sympathy, Haley and Cameron, dog paw print, and 3D bone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. That is awesome. I'm going to put that up here after dropping it. And now we know who you are. You can go in the drawer. Yes. Oh, did you show the rock? No. So this is my uh, protection in the comment section rock. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite color again. In Walden, two pound. I believe that's two pound. Thank you very much. Oh, what? Hang on. Is Dan Hurd joined? Yeah, he must have. Well, everyone's saying it. So, hello. <laughs> oh, he has. There he is. I see Dan Hurd. Oh, yeah. Right after David's comment. Dan Hurd's in the house. This one is, I'm going to guess it's from another young one. Yep. From Mitch. Mitch, Grizzly, and Dad. Yep. So, hopefully, there's some info in here about who it's from. Yeah. Like an address or something so we can enter you in the competition. Dan, I hope you sorted out your um, claim jumpers too, because that would be that would seriously fr it frustrates me on public land going there the day after I put up a video and the place is absolutely pillaged, yet alone paying money for that land and then having that happen. So, <laughs> no, no, just a very well wrapped rock. You did that with such intensity, then. I love that. <laughs> You're like, whoa. Trying really hard just to cut the plastic. It's right in. There's lots and lots of plastic. Hate to say, you need bigger scissors. <laughs> Where is it? It must be tiny. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh is that nuggy? Wow. Okay. So... Mitch, we're going to show you the envelope here, right? Mitch, we, we think you're a young'un. We're going to call you guys young'uns from now on. We think you're a young'un. Um, and Mitch has sent us a gold nugget. <laughs> Look at this. That is a gold nugget. I'm guessing that's probably a 0 0.15, 0 0.2, something like that. And we're lucky it got here because it almost came out of the packaging. Yeah, Australia Post repaired. repaired it. That's So if you're sending anything, especially like this, try and send it in a, in a rubber, well, rubber, a or, plastic. Or even if you send it in an envelope, tape it up. Yeah, ta wrap tape around it or something. That's, um, that's insane. Nagito. That's, we'll have to, that's we'll, unreal. When we when I take photos, we'll weigh it so you yeah. guys know how, how big it is. That has a cool piece. It's got quartz through it too. That that's a super awesome. cool piece. Thank you very much, Mitch. That's that means a generous. lot. I don't know. I want to know more. you got to send me a mm -hmm. message. You know, did, did you find it? Did someone else find it? Who found it? All that stuff. Finding it. Last one. <laughs> and this one has been inspected by... Oh, yes. Biosecurity. So, so this, this actually got opened by our biosecurity. So if there's something missing in here, <laughs> let us know. Let us know. And it's from Anita Colvard in Bluemont, VA, which is Virginia, I think. Man, there's a lot of love for Dan in the comments right now. <laughs> Dan's the man. Mm. His beard's bigger than mine now. I had to let him win somehow. <laughs> in a box. Check there's no more in the peanuts. There's more. Oh, there's more. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> official government letter. Open by an official government papa. Your goods have been screened and inspected by the Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment. The Department of Agriculture, Water and Environment is responsible for managing Australia's biosecurity system. All goods arriving in Australian territory are subject to biosecurity control, which can involve screening and inspection. This reduces the risk, blah, 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 blah. During this inspection of your goods, no biosecurity concerns are identified. No goods have been removed. So it should all be here. I don't think there's anything else in there. Well, these have got little notes on, so I guess we'll find out. Yeah. This one's a sticky note. Hayley Marie, close, glad you like my card and glad the rock made the journey and didn't fall out. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I think we've only lost one rock so far, possibly. Spike Baby, yours didn't make it yet. I've got so many people sending me messages saying if I've asking me if I've got it. And if it's not here today, it's still coming. The COVID we'll, post is slow, we'll bro. We'll do another live stream. Yeah. Okay. Please accept my sympathy. Uh, Chris. Please accept my sympathies and condolences on the tragic and untimely loss of Grizzly. Also, please accept as a token of my esteem and sympathy this blue quartz I gathered in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. And something magnet. Uh, yeah, there's magnets that she's made. Apparently. Okay, yeah. And this was sent ceramic on... magnet, oh, I think it says. This was sent on the 8th of August. That's how long it's taking to get posts from the US. So it's like been this almost two room. months. <gasps> That's really cool. Wow, these are going on the fridge. Look at this. Blue. And the ceramic magnets. And a peanut. Not on the floor, the boys lead it. They're magnets. Dragonfly. This is a lizard, I think. Super cool. Straight on the fridge. But they're made out of plaster, are they? No, ceramic. Ceramic. And then pressed and baked. I'm guessing. It's cool. I'm not sure. It just says oh, dragonfly's ceramic awesome. Ceramic magnets I made. <laughs> they're really cool. I get so distracted on like ooh, ah, yeah. ooh. That's super cool. That's everything. It's all the packages now. Is it? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Did we make it all the way through? Yeah, that's all of them. We did that well. We, I think. I'm giving myself and yourself a grand props on how good we just did to get okay. through all that. <laughs> that was a lot of packages. All right. We have made it through all the packages. So we're going to do one last draw, and that is for our T-shirt. And all the names are in the house. So everyone who sent us a package, your names are in here on pieces of paper. We're going to mix them up, and we are going to draw out a name. And with a little, oh, no, you should do it this time. I'll mix them a little bit, and you mix them some more. Okay. Okay. So Zoe's going to draw. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Good luck. This is for a t-shirt. Um, all right. Got one. Jesse Thompson from Miner's Rest in Victoria. Which one was that? I remember that one. I know, I remember that one too. Oh, you keep talking and I'll look. <laughs> so who's going to look? But Jesse Thompson, congratulations. You've won yourself a Grizzly shirt. If we've got your address, we will send it to you. If not, please email me your address, bogusgold at gmail.com. Um, I'm going to have a quick scan through some of these comments, just try and catch up on anything that's going on in here. What's wrong with you? Yeah, found it. Oh, these were the ones that there was a rock shaped like grizzlies. Oh, head. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was the quartz. That's right. Yeah. That's why I remember it now. Um, I like this one here. Will there be singlets? I don't wear shirts. I will talk to. I'll talk to Karen. I'll see if we can come up with a singlet. That'll be good. I reckon. Um, we're just gonna have a look through some of these ones too. Yeah. 
So lots of people just waiting for their packages to arrive and whatnot. And like I said, we're gonna we're gonna do more of these. There's going to be heaps and heaps. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll give you a couple of minutes, guys, if you want to just write up any questions or anything. I'll I can answer some of them and then we will call it quits. Marcus Smarter loves Zoe's hair. And the the ceramic magnets are clay fired to around 2300 Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit in my kiln That's there you cool. go thank you very much for those I love it that the people are watching too I, I would be so much fun <laughs> again this is where the stream goes really quiet <laughs> well, as I said we'll give you a couple minutes guys if you've got a question you need answered about prospecting or anything else now's the time to put it up Dan asked if you got his package on YouTube. Dan, is that Dan Hurd? If that's Dan Hurd, no, we have not. We have not received any packages from Dan Hurd. Man, you guys write a lot. <laughs> You've written a novel. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. I'm yeah. not getting any. I'm not getting anything coming through in terms. Of, oh, one question maybe. Yeah. Uh, Megan, we're going to keep doing these. Are going to be regular anyway because I get sent packages for other reasons than the Grizzly Mail. So you can send packages in, and I will make um, this happen for those packages. And uh, just a mail opening segment. Basically, that's what it is, and it gives us the opportunity to talk. To you guys, as I said, kind of one on one, mm. a bit more real time, a little bit easier. <laughs> see it, Dan. Dan heard's off. Good to see you too. Hope you see you in person once this COVID thing is over. Good night. Enjoy your night, Dan. And if it was you who was sending me a package, I haven't received yeah. it. So we'll keep we'll keep an eye out. And if you want to send anything to Grizzly Mail, address is in the description. All always read my descriptions. Um, always read them because Shelly, there's heaps down there. Chili Pedrana asked if I would like a beanie. I'd love a beanie. Yeah, Absolutely. For sure. So I would be all over that. <laughs> Uh, Jay Anderson, when are you planning on going back to your dad's reef? Uh, we've been back several times, um, and I've got a video coming up on it. We've got, yeah, we've got stuff coming for that. I have about 15 to 20 videos that are unpublished at the moment on my hard drive that I'm trying to work through. Like I said, I have a lot of projects going on. I need like a, I need a manager. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael Whitecomb, $5. Thank you very much. Keep it up. Lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> It could look like boxing, yeah. not weightlifting. Yeah, by the sounds of it, there's lots and lots still coming. Yeah. So, yeah. It's Heaps of packages still coming by the looks of it. Hi, I live in Kingston. Have a lot of limestone in my area. Is there any gold When is the star, there? Zoe, having a pan? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when it warms up just a little bit more, I'll go out. Yeah. Zoe, Zoe's not I like that I have my own little niche. A uh, group of fans. You do. You've got a little niche <laughs> group of fans. I love that. Um, well, well, when I can convince her to come out and get super dirty on the creek, you know, that's that's the main thing. Got to do that. Uh, the limestone is an interesting question. I don't know is the answer. It, it highly depends on iron. Number one, you want iron because iron creates a solution where the quartz will slow down and drop the gold oh. out of suspension. Thanks, Shelly. Purple. Love purple. Can't wait to see my purple beanie. <laughs> what have, we got here? have you crossed any snakes this year yeah, yeah even yeah. in winter yeah in the end of winter i ran into a red belly and we're seeing browns and yeah. everything so far um oh yeah gary grossman uh the you like that pointing magnet is one of the best tools i use at the moment it is unbelievably good for tracking down the heavies and following the gold you don't it's yeah it's a investment worth making from placer tools there's always prospecting channel coming soon <laughs> no you're more likely to get some kind of art crafty channel from me if shelly sells beanies would happily purchase one there you go shelly you got to get in contact with uh <laughs> megan <laughs> megan day i just saw another one 
how much gold can you get from pyrites? You have to do a fire assay. So you've got to roast them at like a thousand degrees till they turn brown and black, and then you can melt them and you'll find out, but you've got to do it. Uh, Michael Whitecomb, pay dirt coming into September, as I said, multiple times through the stream. I'm not putting a time on it because I have to do this manually myself. I, I'm digging a lot of dirt and moving a lot of ground to try and get enough gold for you guys. So just hold tight. It is coming, but they're limited bags, you know. I'm doing my best. Trevor Dyer said that sniping is the cleanest form of prospecting for me. Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, I agree with that. I just went sniping. There's a mm. sniping video coming. I don't know. I'm not a great swimmer, so I don't know how I'd go. You don't need to swim. You've got to just you, float. Yeah, well, in one spot, sink. too. Yeah, he's got to sink <laughs> in one spot, so you should be right. It's, and Matt Hand just wrote Zoe Ancient Pottery Piece Puzzle Channel. That actually, I like yeah, that. yeah, I like that a lot. Zoe hunts pottery. She loves it. Mm. She disappeared up there at Reedy Creek one day. She didn't come back for like four hours. I thought she must have like broken an ankle. So I was going to go looking yeah. for her and she just stumbled in the door with like heat stroke yeah. in a bag. I like lost a shoe. She lost a shoe in the sluice <laughs> tailings and she had like a shirt full of um of pottery. Also, uh, Wintery Spy 89, $10, number one fan. Thank you very much. Yes, you've just earned that badge, number one fan. <laughs> uh, where did you get Grizzlies? Blue wig. <laughs> say that. Right there. Uh, man. Reading, Lots reading. of hair comments. Thanks, guys. Daniel, <laughs> Donald Cameron, I'm not only doing sniping, I'm doing underwater treasure hunting with a pulse dive metal detector. Uh, that is that is cool. I did that a few days ago. It was freezing cold. It sucked, but I it was most enjoyable for a while. I was in the water. And Blake Mitchell just sent 49 stars. Thank, Thank you, you, Blake. Um, Elliot Cave is the AT Pro any good at finding gold? All metal detectors find gold in the right circumstances. The AT Pro is pretty damn good at finding coins. It will find gold if you're on the right ground. But I would strongly suggest you aim for Mine Lab. Mine Lab do make the best metal detectors in the world. You can argue to your blue in the face, but until you come to Australia and you detect in bedrock that's made up of mostly iron, that's when you'll notice the difference. So that, that is really important. Buy a Mine Lab. If I was going to buy an entry level detector, I'd buy the 800. It's about 1250 bucks. It's got a dedicated gold mode, it's got a coin mode, it's got everything you need, and it will work on hot ground. Uh, Michael dot 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 can't see your name. You are amazing. Twenty dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> I love the pears. Is that a pear? I don't know. I think it's Dan dancing fruit. <laughs> Zoe is cool. Thank you. <laughs> Zoe is cool. I love how you got all these little niche following. Yeah, I know. My own little group. <laughs> Uh, Elliot, look, you haven't bought the wrong one. It doesn't it doesn't make any difference to you going out and using it. And in fact, you can like with a coin machine, especially, you can go out and detect coins and jewelry and pay for your next machine. That's how I've done it. Like it it's really worth spending the time getting to know it. And it doesn't matter about the type of machine so much as how and where you use it. You might just find that you can't use it in every place that you go because of the ground mineralization for gold but it might work superbly in parks and at concerts where you're going to find gold and silver rings and bits of jewellery and mm -hmm. that's where you want to take them. You'll make your money back and you can buy a machine that you want. It will really, really work for you. And we just got sent 50 stars from Bronwyn Jarrett. Thank you very Thank much. You. Yeah, Brian Tobin, QED are great and cheap. QED is a new metal detecting company in Australia. Um, I'm undecided about them at the moment. I want more information before I go in there and think about picking one up or, or trying it. I want them to get a bit of experience behind them because at the moment they're small, but if they get bigger and their customer service goes down or the quality of the products because of how many they have to push out, could cause issues. So I'm just waiting pretty much. Ever see any crocs while hunting? Nah, because I live in Victoria. Yeah, they're so all up north. They're not down here, man. They're not down here. Oh, any tips on setting up a recirculating sluice at home? Yes. Um, Put a, a big tub, 50 litres or more of water, um, because you want it will turn it to sludge really, really quickly if you run a lot of dirt with um, not a lot of water. 
make sure that your pump has a filter around it. You can use a stocking. So just wrap a stocking around the bottom and it will stop a lot of that fine silt from going in. It will reduce the water a little bit, but uh, a solar panel, even a little solar panel will keep you running all day for as long as you want. You won't have to worry about charging your batteries uh, and then run different types of matting for different soils. So depending on the soil that you're running, you'll have to flip through a few different types of matting to get it right. Is it worth classifying to a quarter inch with a river sluice? Yes, it is, 100%. I have not been to Colorado. I haven't been to the US, Marcus, so I need to um, – it's something I want to do and Zoe wants to do. Zoe desperately wants to go to New York <laughs> and see that. So that's yeah, something we've got to cool. do in our lives. <laughs> Once everything calms down a bit. Yes, definitely. All right. So Bronwyn Jared, 50 stars? Yep. Yeah. read that one. Okay. Out. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Blake, yeah, XP um, uh, Deus or Deuce. I can never pronounce that word. But the yeah, XPs yeah. are a good machine too. They are a really good machine. All right. I think that is going – oh, yeah, Matt Han, use a double tub to stop sediment going back into the pump for your recirculating system. I use a bucket to catch all my dirt, and then when it gets three quarters full, I switch it out because that way no sediment blows up and over it. But yeah, double tubbing so the the water flows out and the sediment stays in. That's another way of doing it. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. On oh, that note, five hundred stars for Mick Gench. Yeah, that's oh, Aussie that's Gold. Thank you very much. So Oz, Mick just donated five hundred stars. He is the creator of the Australian potato pan uh, from the company called Aussie Gold. Ah. There is a link for that in my descriptions with the promo code Eureka for ten percent off. I believe it was. Mm -hmm. um, you. That's where all my potato pans are from. They are really good. I recommend if you're going to get a potato pan, get a flatty because the flatties are a little bit easier to use um, in terms of moving the dirt around, and they also. Um, uh, sort of take the same amount of dirt as a regular like garret pan so they're not as heavy you can kind of pan down a little bit easier and they've just got a few advantages over the other ones i like the other ones but yeah for sure 110 percent, i like the flatty the most yeah. so thank you very much mick and, and elliot yeah. cave ten dollars thank you with a exercise pair <laughs> <laughs> uh killer gb420 yes i do know a tyler um speak with him semi regularly out on the creek i'm surprised how many people are watching from over in the uk considering how time it, would it be. is yeah. yeah yeah trevor you hit the you hit it on the head he said you have to wait to get back to canada for your grizz tattoo that's exactly mm. what i am doing because i am not going paulie's where, sister paulie's sister is an amazing tattoo artist so i'm going back there for this tattoo because especially where i'm going to put it i don't want to get it stuffed up no. <laughs> so. all right guys i am going to go now thank you very much for joining yeah captain, captain ron number captain one fan. Ron. You, you and the other bloke are going to have to have a fight for number one fan 10 bucks thank you very much uh michael hudson yes it's going to be a regular show man if i keep saying questions i'm not going to be able to say goodbye <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. It means the world to us that you would tune in and choose to spend your Saturday or Sunday afternoon forward slash morning with us opening packages and having yeah. a bit of a chat. So it's really cool. Until next time, I will see you guys in the very near future. I've got a brand new video coming up after this. I hope you'll stick around for that. And I and Zoe, once she gets her own channel, <laughs> will see you guys later. We're going to end this on YouTube first. Oh. Whoa. See ya. And, and